Hi guys, Bob here. Um, as uh, Dusty pointed out in the comments here, the, um, some of the stop and start animations aren't replicating. Um, basically what's happening is the, um, the client that you're playing and the server um, see the uh, stop and start correctly, but the additional clients um, don't see the uh, replication the same. So the ones in the bottom just see him uh, running on as if there's no stop and start and uh, doesn't see the transition at all. What's happening is um, the client and the player client and the server they see the um, acceleration stop immediately while the character glides forward to allow the um, stopping and starting animation to play between the release of your key and the, um, the end point where your cylinder will stop. And um, the addition, that uh, information is being sent differently to the extra clients the other clients are seeing um the uh deceleration um as a as a result of the applied acceleration so they see it slowly taper off and then there's no distance between the um the point where the acceleration or acceleration is zero and the end point where the character will stop and so you don't get any um animation playing so um yeah in the lyra project somehow they are getting it to replicate correctly um, i suspect they're doing a bit of c plus plus in there but i haven't been able to find out exactly where it is but uh there's a, a fairly simple workaround um the only thing i'm a bit dubious about is whether we're doubling up on any um variables that are already being replicated but uh, this will definitely work anyway basically um, what we're doing is getting a reference here to our player character and a, um, a value that's been replicated on our player character here running off the tick we're getting the character movement get current acceleration which is, which is exactly what the Lyra project is doing and we're creating a replicated variable um, which is um, just replicated and we're running a um, server request here run on server reliable and same value passing it through to a uh, multicast reliable as well so then this uh, end value here be the correct one and um, Let's see, just got a uh, pure function created here. Pure. We take that uh, variable, hook it up to the return node, ensuring that we have return value as the output here um, to, to allow the property access nodes to be able to pick these up. So, so long as you have a function which is pure, and has uh, one output which is return value um, you should be able to access it from within any other uh, blueprint if we go back to here um, we've got a another function here so we get a, a reference to our get uh, try get born owner cast to our specific character there so we've got a, a reference and this one here um, it's not thread safe but it's pure and the return value is return value okay so then up in our update animation we would just create a the access node get our function here and then we can get our um, our other function um, within our character, uh, it's the one I called it, and you can hook that up directly into and replace this one here. 
So um, this is referring back to our replicated value here. So um, that's all replicated. And it will um, accept it here. Goes through, does exactly the same um, route that has acceleration, which we were using in our transition here. Um, this is all redundant at this stage, we haven't done anything with it. So it's uh, pretty much running off for his acceleration. Okay, and in our character model here, um, just a couple of things to note under the movement. Um, the stop start animation um, stopping distance prediction is run off the, uh, the brake deceleration walking here. So whatever you put in here will kind of uh, dictate the, the distance that you're stopping, um, the end point that you'll be stopping at. So if we um, put a lower value down, he's going to slide along and you'll get a, a bit of a glitch at the beginning because the um, distance that you're traveling is going to be longer than the animation that's playing. We'll have a, a quick look so you can see a super exaggerated one there. Yeah, so it's all working correctly. So what we'll do is uh, jump into our our character and our current movement. Uh, so you stop that. Set these to about around about a thousand. The uh, default value is a bit too high, and you won't see the uh, full animations. and won't get the full effect, and also the um, max acceleration set that to around about a thousand as well. Um, you can play around and see what looks best. And once we've done that, uh, let's see, this is our server here. Should be the same on all of them. There may be a little bit of uh, lag, but the animations will play correctly. And the stop and start will be in the correct places. Okay, try this one. Oh, it's about the same on all of them. Yep. Getting nice replication there. Yep, looks like it's all working good. And um, you always want to test this out on it, at least three, um, preferably four um, clients. You, you will get some occasions where the um, first and second ones will be fine, and then the third ones will be messed up. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what you're after. Um, might look at the motion uh, matching, distance matching one next. Okay, cheers.